Kia ora tipano. Um, it's such a pleasure to be here with you guys. Um, I am the founder of A Little Bit Yummy, and I'm all about health through food. But before we um, really get into that, I thought I'd tell you a little bit of a story, because and a bit about me. Yeah. So it's not actually about chocolate brownie, it's about networking. So <laughs> I'm a, I used to be at the University of Waikato as a business student, and so networking was my jam, free food, always good time. <laughs> um, but you know that feeling that you get when you've eaten something you shouldn't have eaten? You know, yeah. <laughs> and you feel that gas building up. <laughs> and you're like, okay, I've got to deal with this. So you are scouting around the room, looking for that quiet corner, and you spot one. <laughs> so you nonchalantly walk over to that corner. And you have your sneaky fart. And then someone spots you. <laughs> and they decide that now is the perfect time to come and say hello. And you know what you have just done in this corner. And they do not know what you've just done in this corner. And so you stride out with your hand out and you just hope that that smell does not ride on your coat tails as you <laughs> greet them. That was me. If you see me in the corner at this event, I'm not farting. You can come and say hello, it's safe. <laughs> but really, this is where my story began. It started with a bit of, you know, unpleasant gas. And it turned into the most horrifically debilitating symptoms. I mean, diarrhea that left me housebound and unable to go to university, unable to hang out with my friends, and something that stole my sense of identity. Because I became so unwell that I lost who I was. And that is where my story began. And I got diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome. And for those of you who don't know, it affects up to 15% of our global population. It affects everything from our relationships to our workplace, to ourselves, and it's a big deal. And we don't talk about enough because toilet talk's a bit taboo, right? Um, so I'm here to sort of change that, um, as you can see. Um, so I started by having to deal with this issue myself. I was sent to the doctor and the gastroenterologist and then the dietitian, and they're like, the bad news is we do not have a cure for you. But the good news is that there's this ridiculously complex medical diet thing, right? That can help up to 70% of patients with IBS. So it's called the low FODMAP diet. It's a complicated acronym, and it really just stands for a group of simple sugars that are fermented when we eat them, and they occur in a wide range of foods. So my dietitian started explaining the list, you know, no wheat, no rye, no barley, so that's gone, bread's gone. No onions and garlic. No mushrooms, no cauliflower, no sweet potato, no artichokes. That wasn't a biggie for me. But um, <laughs> no apples and no pears, no stone fruit. And that's pretty demoralising as a patient to be sit there and told that. And to be hold, given a sheet that lists all the foods that you can't have and then get sent to the supermarket, which happened. So I walked around sobbing because I'm like, how do you eat with no onion and garlic? Don't understand. Um, and I left with a bag of carrots and a chicken breast. Okay. And it was at that point that I realised that I had a choice. And it was at that point I realised the importance of food in our society. Not only does it connect us to our land, but it also connects us to our people because it's our social element. It's how we share you sit down to dinner and you share with your family. And so I decided that I was going to make the low format diet fun, right? So the photos that you've been sharing, seeing on the screen, they are real photos from my website, a little bit yummy com. And now I'm going to briefly talk to you. They're not stock photos. I actually get up on the kitchen table and photograph these <laughs> myself. Um, so <laughs> my specialty is in creating family-friendly, Absolutely delicious recipes. My partner will 
be able to tell you about those. Um, <laughs> for the low format diet, to make food fun again and to teach people how to control their IBS symptoms through food, to bring health back into our communities and to let those people find themselves again. But I need your help because right now I'm doing this by myself and I can't do that. So right now I run a little bit yummy.com. It's a website. The dream is to turn this into a global platform. We will be looking at doing a membership area it will be the one-stop shop for IBS sufferers. You'll be able to get an incredible database of low-format recipes, just as a start. Just so that when you go to the supermarket, you know exactly what you're going to eat, and you're going to know it's going to be delicious. Um, you will have access to meal planning services. We'd like to open it up so that we can give discounted access to dietitians and gastroenterologists, because we have a huge subset of the population who can't access those really important resources. We would also like to build a sense of community so people can either share their fart stories or <laughs> just make meaningful connections with one another and start to rebuild their relationships and their sense of community. And then I would also like to provide other resources, go beyond the realm of food, because there's so many other elements that influence our lives. And a big part of IBS is learning how to control stress and anxiety. So I want to provide resources that look at a holistic perspective, that teach you about how to create healthy habits in other areas of your lives so that you can create the perfect IBS management strategy for your body with the, with the help and support of professionals. So what I ask from you is to create space within your communities to openly discuss poop, because everybody poops. <laughs> and lots of people don't realise that what they're going through is not normal, so we need to make sure that they know that they can discuss it and can get help. As I expand over the next year, I will need to start building up my team, because I'm a one-man band at the moment, or one-woman band at the moment. <laughs> and um, I can't keep doing this by myself. So I'm on the lookout for team members to come and join me to help with the storytelling and other aspects of the business. Um, and I need your networks, to be completely honest. I need you to tell your doctor, your friends, your family members, anyone who you think a resource like this might be helpful, tell them. Or anyone battling with food allergies, because at lunchtime you'll notice that I've got more than just low format going on. I'm the nutter who needs the nut-free table, so, yeah. <laughs> um, and in return, I will tell you very funny fart stories. I will listen with my soul and my heart to what you have to say. And um, I love working in areas that are very niche and creating business strategies around those, so I'd love to discuss that with you as well. Thank you very much for listening, and... Um, I look forward to sharing some food with you later. Yeah.